All right, so as you can see here, I have a K7000 on a tube, and this tube is actually its original mother tube. And I originally planned on working on those 16 chassis, that box of 16 chassis that I've already fixed a couple of that has the little white ID tags that are attached to the heat sinks and stuff. I planned on working on those one at a time. Uh, but these, but four of these have now dropped in my lap that I was contacted by a acquaintance out of Kansas City who said he had some monitors he'd like to work on. I said, yeah, sure, okay. So he brought them down from Kansas City to Wichita. So he made the three-hour drive down from KC to Wichita, and he brought me four monitors. We have a K7000 here. We have a K7000 here out of a police trainer, a K7500 here out of an Arctic Thunder, and a Henrix Polo here out of a uh, Revolution X. So this one has vertical collapse. This one, I think, um, is working but is missing a color. This one here is all dark, like it turns on. No, that one, this one here has, what's wrong with this one here has, uh, yes, it, it goes dark. It, it, uh, it, when it, he first turned it on, it would power up and get an image. After about three minutes, it would slowly fade away, and now it's nothing. There's nothing on the screen, uh, but it has um, net glow and does work and power up, but there's nothing on the screen. So we have... That, that issue to work with, missing colors, and I think maybe something else. What does he say here? Uh, uh, has a yellow screen. Uh, I forget. Lifted traces. So this one has color problems. So we'll check out that. We'll check out this one. This one is uh, vertical collapse. We'll check out that. Uh, but for this one, uh, this one he says, uh, full cap kit installed. Let's see, full cap kit installed, uh, monitor works, but brightness contrast has to be maxed out. So I think we have a dull tube here, and that'd be a good candidate for a rejuvenation. So I have it all hooked up, I have not turned it on yet, just from getting it dropped off. So let's turn the light off here, and let's see in fact what it looks like. I haven't made any adjustments on anything to it, I just, just, uh, just now got it dropped off. So let's turn it on, one thing I do see that's odd, is there some type of uh, heat shrink <laughs> over the R103? What in tarnation is this? I've never seen that before. That's very interesting. Uh, but it, it's going to be nice to finally have a K7000 to match up with its mother tube that we can adjust colors with. I have not changed colors. Normally I put them all to center, but we'll see what this looks like just the way that it is. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, it does turn on. Original flyback, it has been capped. And let's just see how long this takes. Well, that doesn't take very long at all. Uh, vertical hold. Yeah, I can see he's got the brightness turned up a bit too high. The black level should be, oh, see, and then as it warms up, we get the raster lines. Oh, and the raster lines are gone now. That was odd. That was very odd. We had raster lines there for a split second, and then they, they came on. And then they went away. Oh. We may have a bad flyback because drift, drifting brightness is usually a sign of a bad flyback. But if we turn our black level down, see now you can see the raster lines again. Now they're back. Huh. Well, if we turn this down to where it needs to be, which is right. Now see, that's all the way down. Black level is all the way down. Contrast all the way down. So our flyback is too high. Let's turn our flyback down. Oh, right there. And brightness needs to be right there. Contrast. Uh, yeah, as I turn contrast up, we get raster lines again. I think we just simply need a new flyback. Let's turn, there we go. Okay, now we got brightness and contrast. That looks pretty good. Now let's adjust our focus. Uh, focus isn't doing too well, roughly there. That's about as good as I can get the focus. That looks pretty good. We go ahead and skip that. Well, look at that. That looks really good. Well, I can, honestly, I can honestly say that this does not need a rejuvenation. 
So we'll have to wait for another candidate for that. That looks really good. Wow. Uh, H position. That's perfect. Look at that. The note says... Uh, full cap kit installed. Monitor works, but brightness contrast seemed maxed out. Well, I can't duplicate that. That looks pretty good. You can see that if I turn brightness, I have a... Let me decrease my vertical size here. You can see black level. That's that's maxed out right there. I turn it down. I mean, that's almost... That's all the way down. Uh, and that's too bright. Right there. Oh, right there is where brightness needs to be. Vertical size. I mean, that looks pretty freaking good. Yeah, look at that. Wow. This tube does not need any rejuvenation at all. That's glorious. Okay. Well, obviously the cap kit was a successful install because it's working, not blowing up. I think we can just call a... We can just go ahead and replace this flyback and call this good. I mean, right off the bat, this is good. I mean, it's in, it's in focus. Oh, so that we're a bit too bright again. As it warms up, things change. Okay. There we go. That's better. Look at this. That's fantastic. Man. I'm jealous. I wish this was mine. <laughs> I wish this was mine. Uh, yeah, this tube doesn't need any, a bit of work at all. So, I mean, I don't know. I can't duplicate that problem. Uh, maybe it's a problem with his board because this looks great. Um, contrast, if I turn contrast up, contrast is maxed out. But that's due to probably the color pots are turned down. You know, if we uh, turn our contrast down and then turn our color pots all to center. Uh, let's see here. I'm hesitant to do this. Oh, well, blue's turned all the way down. The drive pot. Green's turned all the way down. Okay. So now all of our color pots are centered. Let's see what we get now. Well, that's, I mean, that's just as good. Right about there. I mean, still, that's great. I don't, I don't understand. Uh, it's, if, you know, if, if it's... Uh, it, the contrast and brightness does not have to be maxed out for me. So whatever issues that the owner of this was having with this setup, it's not... A, a monitor problem because it's not I don't have the same issue he's describing on my end here on my test bench and my setup so it's a bit too kind of blue now with what I did but uh, yeah contrast is about 80% there's a hundred I go down to about 80 brightness is about 20% yeah see right I only turned it if I turn it right there see that I mean there's Right now, brightness is only about 15, 20%. There's full brightness. <laughs> Turn it back down. Still too bright. Uh, we want right about there. And I gotta say, that looks phenomenal. Absolutely beautiful. So, uh, nothing's wrong with this one. I gotta say, we're one for one already, but I am going to go ahead and replace the flyback because it is, um, I did look at it and it is cracked. So I always like to change these out if they're cracked, even if they're working. Because they're cracked, I don't trust them. So I'm going to go ahead and change it out Change it out anyway, and maybe that will help on his end with the brightness issues. But you can see here how great this looks. Yeah, it's way too green. Let me turn the green back down here. So let's turn off our green here. Uh, that's better. That looks outstanding. I haven't seen a... I have not seen this good of a picture on the test bench come through in quite a while. Look at that, man. Okay, well, I think there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, I cannot duplicate this issue. Um, brightness contrast seem maxed out. I cannot duplicate that problem. So let's see uh, if changing out the flyback does anything. I'm not going to show it, but I'll do the flyback replacement. I'll go through and do a full reflow, full inspection, clean it up like I always do, and then reinstall it and do my final testing. Um, but for... What we have here initially, there is nothing wrong with this at all. I mean, I'm really jealous that I can't keep this for myself. <laughs> it looks so good. 
So yeah, all right, well, let's move on to the second one. This one was quick and easy, and we'll see how that one, how that one turns out. Um, I think next we'll move on to this other K7000 that came out of the police trainer, which is marked here. Yeah, partial cap kit installed, new flyback installed, was great, bright image, then faded, dull after three minutes. Hmm, okay. Well, if it, uh, this, I'm still just amazed at how well this looks. I'm super jealous. Uh, but, okay, enough about this. I'm just, uh, <laughs> just gushing over how awesome this looks. I haven't seen this look good, uh, look this good in a while. So, I'll get all this done off camera and we'll call this one done. Then we'll move on to this police trainer one next and see how that goes. So stay tuned.